This world record attempt brings us to the island of Trinidad. <laughs> trying, I know, <laughs> trying to set a new world record for the farthest distance limbo under cars. Please welcome Shamika Campbell. The feat that gained TNT limbo queen Shamika Campbell her third entry into the Guinness Book of World Records. The furthest distance in a limbo position. 12 feet, 8 inches, and it was done right here on TV. And that's right, that was the introduction last Friday on the U.S. syndicated show Live with Kelly and Ryan for our very own Shamika Charles Campbell, who by now, you know, broke her own record in the Guinness Book of Records as the Limbo Queen. Congratulations, Shamika. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and you, <laughs> you, you're probably still reeling from the excitement, right? Oh, gosh. It's been exhausting emotionally because I'm just so overwhelmed. Like, as I mentioned before, I've literally wanted to set this record in Trinidad from the beginning and to yeah. actually get the, oh my God. Yes, because the first, the first record was set in 2010 on Live and Regis and Kelly. So talk us through what happened from then to now, making this your third Guinness Book of Records record. I'm sorry, what was the question? So talk us through, your, your first record, I believe, was set on Live with Regis and Kelly, correct? In 2010? Yeah. Right. So, and this is your third one, which is in, of course, home country, Trinidad and Tobago. So talk us through what happened since then, your first, second, and now this being your third record. Yeah, so my first record, as you just mentioned, was set in 2010, and that was something I worked for four years. I was practicing and, you know, working on my conditioning and still performing with the, our, our band, Caribbean Extravaganza, back in Buffalo, New York. Mm -hmm. And then... In 2016, I got the offer to go on a TV show in Beijing, China, and it was kind of like a challenge show. It was, you know, the original record holder, yeah. and then it was some, some uh, someone else trying to break that record, yeah. right? I was the only one without a challenger, so that worked for me, and then it didn't work for me because I was the last person to set the record, and yeah. that was... 3 a.m. the following day and it was it was just a lot but I was still able to come through and get the record and I set it for 10 feet and 3 inches so now in the sweet island of Trinidad and Tobago yes. <laughs> yes. my record for laboring on the two vehicles which as I said I was very about setting it in Trinidad so COVID kind of came and delayed things a little bit but Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned COVID. So is it that if uh, if it weren't for the pandemic, you would have been back in the U.S.? Or are you here now? No, I would have. I, I originally planned on bringing Guinness here. Right. So I would have arranged for the adjudicators and everything, at least two of the representatives from Guinness World Records to come and do it, to come and do the record in Trinidad. Right. But... COVID happened and we could not, you know, obviously the whole world shut down. Mm -hmm. And then I got an email from Guinness World Records because it was on the same, um, the same show. It's yeah. just a different now. But it was literally my 10 year anniversary this year, which hence another reason why I wanted to do it this year. Yes, that so, is true. Yeah. But I got the email from Guinness World Records offering for me to do it. And then they said I'll be able to do it virtually remotely. <laughs> And I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I had about two weeks to train, but it was okay. Yeah. It was all right. Normally, I have a bit longer to train and prep myself and, you know, get into that kind of condition to go that kind of distance. And But, you know, I couldn't say no. I yeah. could not say no. Well, I want to see yes. your face, though, because we're seeing the repeat of the video. There you are, because, you know, your excitement. I just love to feed off your excitement, Shamika. This record, right, <laughs> it's not the lowest, it's not set as the lowest limbo, which is what I thought at first, but the longest distance. Yeah? Yeah. So, two vehicles. The lowest limbo was, for, was my first Guinness World Record. Ah. Set okay. in 20 cents. 8.5 inches. Wow. So, what's your next 
uh, distance in mind? What do you have in mind for the next one? Or is it a secret? Um, <laughs> well, of course, I'll have to do three vehicles. That's just a given, mm -hmm. right? But I also set another dinosaur record. I <laughs> thought that would have been done after this one. And I said, okay, let me just set the record to know that and then I'll be satisfied. Since that last record, my mind's been going and I think I'll ask, I think I have about two more. Maybe two more. Wow. You've also been yeah. on America's Got Talent. What is life like as a limbo queen? Um, do you tour or how, tell us what it's like for you? Well, when I started the record um, in 2010, I was already part of our Caribbean band, Caribbean Extravaganza in East East, right. which is my mom, my uncles, my brother, my cousins. And we used to tour around the Buffalo area. We used okay. to tour sometimes out of, out of the Buffalo area as well and surrounding areas mm -hmm. and you know i was performing as a feature limbo dancer in the in the band and then i also was doing nba halftime shows me and my mom was traveling right. um nba halftime shows um of course during the nba the nba season and then we used to perform in the summertime with the band mm -hmm. so and then we had different performances here in between here and there which was America's Got Talent, or you know, I was on Home and Family, I was on Disney's Bazaar Back. I did, I did a few, quite a few things in between that. So yeah. you know, I've always, I've always been busy as far as you know, doing different things in the limbo field. Yeah, I am very happy and very proud, you know that. The world was so intrigued because I traveled to Germany. I've been to Germany twice. I've been to China twice. I've been to Amsterdam. I've been to Italy. I've been to Paris. All doing limbo performances. Flying so the like, flag of Trinidad and Tobago, which of course was made here. It's from Trinidad and Tobago, especially the flame in limbo. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And I definitely always, always, always highlighted that. The fact that I am from Trinidad. Yes, I grew up in the States, right? And I will always, you know, love my Buffalo, New York. <laughs> but it's not, let me not say but. And <laughs> I'm originally the land of limbo. So I kind of felt, kind of, kind of felt like obligated in a way. You know, like I have this unique talent. I have this ability. You know, I'm getting all these different opportunities to share this unique talent and to promote our culture. Yeah. Let me take full advantage of it. Yes. Especially now that I feel limbo is a dying art. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not as, you know, interesting to people anymore. They're not really, you know, paying it much attention. So, you know, for me to be able to take limbo to the world, <laughs> you know, has truly been an honor. Which is exactly what you're doing and with a little pizzazz as well, kind of modifying it there. Shamika, you know, I just would love to have you in studio once again because I know you were here before and probably do something like we could get Carrie, not me, get Carrie to go under that limbo with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so okay, wonderful it's chatting so with you. And congratulations once again, Shamika, our well, limbo queen. Fun. You know, I love the fact that you are, um, oh my that you gosh. are, you know, her pure rank Trini accent, right, Carrie? Yeah, just 100%. As, 100% Trini. <laughs> just even though she grew up in the U.S., so I love that. That was Shamika Charles. Shamika, you're back with us? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, we thought we lost we you lost a bit you. there. I was telling Carrie that I love the fact that although you grew up in the U.S., you have your pure rank Trini accent, so I love that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, it's so All right, we're getting some... On that. Yeah, we're getting some trouble with your... People comment on yeah, we're getting some technical what problems there. We're getting some technical problems with your audio. I don't know if it's the data, but we're going to have to leave it there anyway. Congratulations. I know you're hearing me. Congratulations, Shamika Charles Campbell, our very own Limbo Queen, setting another record, beating her own record in the Guinness Book of Records live on Live with Kelly and Ryan. That was on Friday in the U.S. syndicated, and we just had a wonderful conversation. With